What's up, everybody? We're back with another video, and uh, with this, one, we're going to be uh, just giving my thoughts on the Xbox uh, Game Showcase 2024. Um, what I saw, this is like the probably the best showcase the Xbox has had for uh, a while. Um, it showed off 30 different games, and I'll go ahead and name them off uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 6, uh, Indiana Jones, The Great Circle, Here's War E Day, Doom The Dark Ages, About Diablo. Um, I think this is a uh, just DLC or just more to the D Diablo 4, a vessel of hatred, a uh, more with the flight simulator 2024, World of Warcraft, uh, the War Within, Dragon Age, the Veil Guard, Assassin's Creed Shadows, Stalker 2, Age of Mythology, Retold, Fable, Mixtape, Perfect Dark, Expedition 33, South of Midnight, a uh, Starfield. Uh, Shatter Space, that's, uh, I guess, DLC, uh, State of Decay 3, uh, Wu-Chang, Fallen Feathers, Elder Scrolls Online, Gold Road, Metal Gear Solid, Delta, Snake Eater, Fallout 76, Skyline Valley, I think there was some uh, more DLC, uh, Life is Strange, Double Exposure, A More Sea of Thieves, Adam Falls, Flint -like, Flintlock, Siege of Dawn, a winter burrow, a frag punk, and mecha break. Yeah, so they uh had a pretty good showing. Some some of the games were uh, world premieres. Um, some showing a little bit more gameplay. Some did have release dates, but some had like uh, maybe like 2024, fall 2024. So everything doesn't have an exact release date, but a few do does. I uh, know Flintlock was like July. July 18th, maybe something like that. Yeah, they had a pretty decent show. Um, there's a few games that I'm interested in. Uh, ran a little long for me um, because there was just a lot in between that I just games that I'm not interested in. But uh, I guess the ones that I am most interested in are Gears of War, E Day. That's uh, did they have 2024? release. I have to go back and check, but I don't, can't remember if they gave an, a date yet. Uh, Gears of War, um, the Dragon Age Veil Guard, maybe. It looks like I might be interested in trying that. Uh, Perfect Dark. I know of Perfect Dark. I've never played any games. I've seen some of them, so I am interested in uh, playing that. Seems like it's pretty cool, all the different things that they had with the uh, they had like a uh, be able to record somebody's voice and go up to something. It had a uh, voice authentication. It had some cool stuff in there. Um, Expedition Thirty Three. That probably was the most interesting game for me. Kind of something I wouldn't expect with the RPG elements. Well, RPG, but it's like a, um, I guess it's more of an interactive RPG. So you had uh look like time sequences when you're fighting uh also counters and blocking so seemed like it'd be pretty interesting i know i did see that is uh gonna be on consoles and pc so ps5 xbox and pc uh south of midnight this is the one game from the uh, last showcase i couldn't remember the name of it but uh this was the most interesting game I saw from the last showcase. And they did have gameplay this time. Um, no release date yet. Just, we know, 2025. Um, so I think those were the most interesting to me that actually had some gameplay. Expedition 33 and South of Midnight. South of Midnight looked real. It, um, it, that caught me interest because it, I guess it might have like different cryptids or something in, in the game. Um, from what we saw, it had like a big, uh, I can't think of what type of fish that is, but you riding on a big fish and then they had a, a huge alligator. Um, but yeah, that one, that one was like, it's going to be pretty cool. Um, what was the other one? A Wu Chain Fallen Fez. I, yeah, that was some game. That looks like they might be pretty cool. Uh, I need to see a little bit more. I can't remember what the release date was. I have some video playing 
Well, no, let me just go look at it. Uh, let me check. Wu Chang Fallen Feathers did it have. Did it have release day? Oh, 2024. Okay. And that is PS5, Xbox, and uh, PC. Let me see if I can find the actual release date. Um, no, it says 2025. So that's next year. Okay. Um, and uh, Metal Gear Solid Delta Snake Eater. I do want to try that out. I've, I don't think I ever played any Metal Gear Solid. No. Seen a little bit on them. So it might be might be pretty cool. So Metal Gear Solid, I do want to try that out. Um, Flintlock, Siege of Dawn. It looks like that might be pretty cool. It might be something I, I might be interested in playing. Hopefully they'll have more gameplay. So maybe they'll have something. I haven't checked. Maybe they have more gameplay going on throughout the week. But that seemed like that might be pretty interesting with the combat that I've seen. So that's another one. Um, Frag Punk, another hero shooter. I got quite a bit of those coming out. But it's uh, kind of in interesting with the different cards and things that you can. Um, they had one showing in the uh, trailer. You can, I guess they like break the cars and it brings up foliage you can hide in. Another one had to where uh, you can make your opponent's head big so it'd be easier to snipe. So it might be pretty cool. It's just another hero shooter. There's a whole lot of those out and a whole lot coming out. So, uh, and I, from what I saw with that, I think that's only Xbox and PC, but that's all I've seen. I hadn't seen anything as far as like PS5. Then uh, Mecha Break, I think. That was shown at Summer Games Fest. I think that's on everything, uh, PS5, Xbox, and PC. But yeah, that's that's the only ones that I was interested in. So what is that, about 16? Well, Assassin's Creed Shadows. They did have gameplay for that. And it looks like it might be pretty cool. I've never been into the Assassin's Creed games. I probably played like a, um, a demo when the first game came out. Um. But it's, it's looking like it might be pretty cool. I might try it out. Uh, just need to see a little bit more gameplay. So it might be something I'll pick up later on. So yeah, that was uh, what was about six, six or seven games. Out of 30 that I was interested in. Um, some of them do have release dates and are coming out this month. There's one. Maybe Indiana Jones too. I don't know. I think I had... I'd be more interested in that if there was like third person. But I don't know about that one yet. But a uh, year from what they had, it was a uh, it was a pretty good showcase. Um, Xbox probably hasn't had this many things that I'm interested in 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 a long while. So, um, oh, they also showed off um, new systems which were like uh, um. All digital Series X uh, with a one terabyte. I think it might have been a two terabyte uh, Series S, then a two terabyte um, Series X. Was it like a Galactic Edition or something, something like that? And what were the prices on that? Let me check. I'll check that as well. Um, now I'll have a picture of it posted. Is Xbox Series X, uh, one yeah, one terabyte all digital. Uh, it's a special edition Series X Galaxy Black. Um, consoles coming holiday 2024. What's the price? I remember seeing the price. Okay, the um, Series X one terabyte is 350. Um, Series X digital one terabyte is 450. Series X two terabyte uh, Galaxy Black Special Edition is 600. Yeah. 
pre-orders coming soon. Um, then they, they did have a uh, Call of Duty 6 uh, showcase, like, right after that one. And I think they might have been, like, 30 minutes long. I didn't watch that. I'm not into Call of Duty. And uh, I believe all of these games are going to be uh, day one with, with Game Pass. Um, so, yeah, Xbox had a pretty good showcase. Um, I say it's okay because uh, throughout it, I was I got a little bored throughout some of it, but objectively, I'd say it's the best showcase that they've had in a while. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to Gears of War E Day. Um, I know that one is uh, will be 14 years before the first uh, Gears. Uh, so that um, Perfect Dark. Expedition 33, South of Midnight, uh, Wu Chang Fallen Feathers, Metal Gear, and Mecha Break. Flintlock, uh, uh, Siege of Dawn as well. So, uh, yeah, just a quick video giving my thoughts on the showcase. Um, I think so far they might have had the best one out of uh, PlayStation and Summer Games Fest. Little too long for me, and you know, a lot of the games I don't care about, but uh, overall, they had a good show, they kept pretty good pace of everything. So, some gameplay of uh, some games that they announced before, and now showing more gameplay. Like, the, uh, I think Flintlock had gameplay in the last one, if I can remember, but uh, South of Midnight, we got the gameplay for that. Fable got some gameplay for that, and yeah, yeah, that's it with this video. Um, just wanted to get my quick thoughts on what I saw from the showcase. Uh, might come back and uh, do a little bit more, talk a little bit more about maybe South of Midnight, Perfect Dark, some of these other games, and um, if there is some gameplay shown for some of these. I'll probably do a video with those. But yeah, that's it. Uh, we are in the E3 season. And um, it's cool to see all the different companies showing off the games and things that's, sh that's coming up. Yeah, that's it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications every time I go live and post a video. Leave your comments down below as well. Let me know what you thought about the showcase. But that is it. Everyone have a good one. Be cool. Stay safe out there. Show someone some love. And. God bless. Peace.